Good morning. So, we just had the delivery from Emma's dad. A nice little delivery in a Harry Potter bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's gave us a little care package. A little care pack. And uh, he put in. So, we're looking for oat milk. So, we got oat milks. He's, uh, he laughed at the end and he said, I put in some toilet rolls for you. Um, we've also got steak pies, vegan steak pies, uh, vegan cheese, and gosh, burgers! A nice little vegan care pack. So, cheers, John. Thanks, Dad. And on we go away, self isolation. <laughs> I've just watched the new uh, Boris Johnson briefing. And he's basically saying that 12 weeks is what he's, he reckons mm -hmm. we'll start to see a bit of a, a change. Mm. What, did, what was the word he used? Turn, turn the tide? Mm. Turn yeah. the tide? Journalists asking what the uh, hell that actually means. Um, a usual Boris, he couldn't actually say, apart from going, well, 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 But yeah, basically, like, 12 weeks um, and then hopefully we'll maybe see it's going down a little but not obviously yeah. like drastically but hopefully but he said if everybody does what they need to do as in not going out don't go into restaurants and pubs and yeah I think he means the peak to get to the peak of like the kind of scene it's starting to sort of begin to decline or whatever but yeah. I don't know I'm not sure I believe that to be honest. I, I nipped out briefly today and it doesn't look to me out there that much different. I mean, it's hard to tell really when you're on the road and sort of driving, whatever, and you pass places and you're looking at the car park thinking, is that actually any quieter than it normally is? It's hard to tell whether... Yeah. I just get a feeling like most folk are not taking it seriously enough. And they're just thinking about them. I mean, this has been said a million times, but I feel like they just think, I'm cool, I'm young, I'm whatever, so if I get it, I get it. Whereas it's just, they're not seeing the bigger picture, which I'm not surprised at, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Small-minded people, as usual. But it's like... Well, it would be interesting if everybody did actually do what the government is saying and all these specialist scientists. Mm -hmm. and, and really, for these next 12 months, do what they're, they're saying and hopefully we do see a bit of an improvement by then and then I think everyone's thinking oh, it's mainly a London problem so uh, the size of Scotland the chances of me getting it oh, oh well but your dad came in and this morning and obviously uh, he said that he knows someone had it yeah it's, it's quite funny actually my or dad has it? had picked up a few um, like food items for us at the shop and he said he was going to bring it to us but he didn't want to come in the house so he literally stood you on, just literally seen that obviously though yeah on the ramp i wish we had actually filmed my dad coming to do the stuff yeah it was but quite funny he stood on the ramp like really really far back um and emma was standing like uh, emma was like sitting at the our like living room door so like looking right down right out, down the, the hall. hall um yeah, he was like, I'm not coming in, I'm not coming in. But, yeah, he knows somebody who works for him. Uh, my dad's got a restaurant, so one of the waitresses there has actually got it. Because um, she's also a student nurse. Yeah. Um, but she wasn't in at the time. Like, no, no, she's not Around in. the time she's actually sort of came into contact with it. Yeah, like she's not been in like the restaurant. But, yeah, she's in isolation now in Glasgow. I think that's where she, she works in the... Sorry, where she studies right. um, in Glasgow, so that's where she, she is. So yeah, it's getting like closer and closer it's weird, uh. to home, which is, yeah. Yeah, so if uh, he can just keep the oven parcels, that'd be great. I yeah, it's it when it came and like, obviously he's seen in a Harry Potter shopping bag. Oh, he had Harry Potter <laughs> as well. It's quite fun. But it's cool. Yeah, and it was some nice wee treats inside. Aye. So we managed yeah. to get our... Next update also is the online shopping, which is absolute mental. 
Um, ordered five days ago for the slot. Got email saying along the way a day or two later, sorry this, 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 about nine different things are out of stock. We were a wee bit like annoyed and thinking, oh, how are we going to get them? Got subs. Put the substitutes in. A day later, sorry, this, 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 this is out of stock. And then this morning, Emma gets an email two hours before the deliveries are arriving uh, to say this, 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 this is out of stock. Yep. But it finally comes, I was out, but it finally came and... My mum dealt with it all when um, she was in. But yeah, there were some items that we got a substitute for it, which they were okay. But then like bread, that was completely unavailable. We didn't get a sub for that. Yeah. But you managed to pick one up when you were out. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, this yeah. stuff's all going about. A lot of stuff's still going about. You just have to kind of look for it. You oh, might yeah. have to go to 10 supermarkets, but yeah. you, still, you still will find it. But, it's just... but yeah, I'm, like, I'm glad we actually got stuff that we need. We didn't overbuy. Yeah. We just got... And oh, no, I'm not buying what, any more than what, we what, needed. what I need when we go and grab things. I'm not getting, oh, I'll take two loaves of bread. I'm just buying, like, as I always do, except... Um, working a booking, we don't usually online shop, but we're kind of booking ahead. Uh, maybe that's something you sort of should think about yourself if you're doing online shopping, like book your shopping a good few weeks ahead every time you book book ahead. I did hear though that some of them, I, I don't know which which supermarkets it is, but they're not allowing like new customers. To register you need to be an existing one oh, thank goodness. To, to do your online shop mm -hmm. so I, I don't know what the situation is with that. Yeah also I heard that might cause issues. the other day um, Netflix have seen a big surge and all these online places have seen a big surge and uh, of course naturally uh, in their uh, subscriptions because you know they're all going to be at home. Yeah. So it's mental. So yeah, today's just been a food delivery day for me, my dad and dad's stuff. Yeah. But also, I've been working today, and tonight is going to be a wee bit more of work. I know. I seen another thing uh, uh, about how the planet. They're saying the planet's like recovering. Hmm. Um, because like. There's no humans basically to destroy it as yeah, we're doing. Yeah. And if this isn't like evidence that climate change is real, then I don't know what is. Like already most sane folk know it's real, but it's obvious like the amount of planes that are out of the sky instantly mm -hmm. is regenerating things and uh, just everything like nature's all like doing its thing rather than being polluted by even like the rivers in, was it um, Italy? In Italy, yeah, in Venice. I'm sure a lot of you might have seen that, like yeah. the stories of the river with the boats go along, they're actually clear now. You mm -hmm. can see through them, whereas you can before. See the fish, which that's, is that's so sad. People should be looking at that thinking, this is mad. Like, we should actually be so ashamed of ourselves that we're putting everything this badly. Yep. Um, it's madness, you know? But um, I heard on the radio today as well. Flights are still taking place, hundreds of flights a day, but it's more about like sort of bringing people back from countries. Um, mm -hmm. There was a guy and his son worked in America and uh, he was looking to get back from, I think it was Florida, and he wanted to basically leave as soon as possible, but I think, he's, I think his job contract ended in April, but he wasn't sure whether he should wait to then. Cause he's still got work but or whether he should just leave the now because he's worried about being trapped there then his job ends in april and then he's got no money to come back mm -hmm. yeah. or no work to stay there yeah so but they were apparently they were saying no of course everyone should still travel about if you're holidaying in the uk apparently the advice was keep doing it yeah but just be aware like you're gonna have to keep the isolation kind of distancing measures yeah. in place yeah. but still go don't cancel because the tourist places all these places that run like B and B's whatever still need the or like lodges or whatever. I think lodges and B and B's are better mm -hmm. right now because you can stay isolated yeah. once you're uh, not B and B's like lodges and cottages and stuff. You can once you're there, you can well right. I'm clean or I'm isolated. Whereas 
I think hotels are kind of out of the question yeah, of course, because yeah. and B&Bs because you're having to like contact people all the time, be in touch. But yeah, it's, it's crazy what's happening. It's uh, no real change from yesterday, to be honest. No. We just thought we'd no. sort of like talk about the goings on of the day. So yeah, um, that's about it for now. Yes. I think, unless you've got anything else to add. No more updates. Uh, for now, but yeah, we'll see you we'll all tomorrow. We'll check in every so often just to update. Yeah. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. And subscribe if you haven't already. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Why not? What's the worst getting that? But yeah, let us know what you're doing during self isolation because I'm quite interested to find out. Yeah, stick it, stick below yeah, in the yeah. comments. Like, why not? Yeah. Tell us. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, and we get a lot of discussions on. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.